What up, what up, y'all? Tim Z here, back at it again, like you can always expect. Nah, I mean, and today, an unboxing. Let's get right to it. Spider Co. Sticker box. All right. Come the camera. Ooh, there's some grease on it. What the hell? Oh, <clears throat> damn, some grease. All right. All right, so yes, you see the knife. You should know what this is. It's been around for a long time, but I just got one. Spyderco Chaparral, all right? Made in Taichung, Taiwan. Uh, a lot of people regard that as their best factory. All right, or producing better knives than gold in Colorado, at least. All right, let's see. Lock back. All right, some people complained that the lockback um, hurt their thumb because it's so, uh, it's a narrow lockback, right? Because the blade stock is thin on the slicey, right? Um, eh, no, I don't think so. I mean, maybe if you fidget with it too much, then yes but I don't really think that it hurts the thumb, right? Nice snappy back lock action, right? It's got a little bevel in there to make it thinner. Um, that's a nice touch, but a little unnecessary to be honest. Not necessary, all right? Um, not a bad knife, actually. Oh, did you just see that? Did you just see that? Let me see if I can replicate that. Oh, no, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, shit, almost hit the table. All right, all right hold up. How the hell did I get it the first time? It just... All right. You know what, let me do this off camera. Not working out, guys. Damn. All right, it's not coming out the way that it did that one time. Let me see if I can, damn it. My fingernails all over the place getting cut up. Uh, the hell? You know what? It's going to need some breaking in, then maybe it will be consistent. But I think that time I just had more speed on my finger. Damn. Oh, that was almost, that was close, that was close. Damn, even with the wrist flick, it's not working. Uh, <laughs> I will just say that was a fluke for now uh, because I couldn't do it again. But, you know, maybe with some lubrication, if they don't have any in here, it's going to work again. But eh, it will break in and probably happen consistently. If you guys see me on Instagram with the reels, I'll be middle finger flicking this if I get it broken down. All right. Let me the heck all right you know what this whole video is not about this all right the centering's good oh they put a little sticker there so it protects the scale i wonder how it's going to wear in to be honest this is very glossy is this g10 i don't even know i think it's g10 very thin fits in the hand good Oh, wow. All right. I usually <clears throat> not a big fan of Spyderco finger choils, but this one feels kind of good. It's very aggressive on the thumb. I mean, uh, yeah, right here, down here. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. You know. Yeah, so it's got actually a very short cutting blade because the rest of the blade is here for the finger choil. 
but it's a nice knife, right? It's comparable to, uh, not really, but a little bit to the Dragonfly blade, Sage blade, right? Oh, man, actually, I don't have, it. where's my Sage? Not here. All right. So it's a good knife. Pocket clip, stiff. Wire clips work, guys. I know a lot of people are not a fan. ridiculous all right <clears throat> let's get some blades in comparison for the size comparison we got the icon right we got this got the knife here uh, and let's not use that one but what else do we have here that's comparable this is a smaller knife we, get, uh, we got Riv. Riv is similar. Shorter, but similar. All right. Riv is a nice knife. We got the banter. I know this used to be popular. It kind of died down a lot. Almost identical. Almost. Blade is more cutting on here, though. Right. You know, the banner is pretty nice, actually. You know, some knives, they just fade away, to be honest. But the banner is a good knife. It's just that we got too many uh, uh, knives in our collections. And we won't get to carry anything. Anyways, uh, nothing else to say about this knife. It's nice. It's slicey, full flat grind. Uh, so CTS uh, XHP, CTS XHP. Yeah. Taiwan, all right. Yeah, you know, yeah, we didn't take a look at that. The mother of pearl inlay here. It's well done. I cannot feel any ridge anywhere here. I But you do feel a texture change. Like it's so much smoother here. That looks like, seems to be real mother of pearl you can actually see over here, the mother of pearl has a little indentation here. I wonder if they just filled it with some resin. You see right there, it's a little, it's like a little dent in it, right? Yeah, so this one, you can see the imperfection. I wonder if they just, you know, they did seal it obviously, because if not, it'd be flaking away and cracking, right? And this side, can't feel anything, you know. I wonder if they really did a cutout of a circle and pressed it in there or something. This is done very well. It seems to be that they did, it's two different G10s or whatever this is, because you can see, yeah, it's not the same. You can see that texture. Anyways, yeah, can't middle finger flick this. We'll do it one more time uh, on camera. It's not gonna work though. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think of the Spyderco Chaparral in 2023? Is this knife a pass, you know, because it's been out for so long? Or do you think it's still holds its own in 2023 i mean being that it's a back lock lock back whatever you want to call it it makes it you know stay around longer because they don't make a lot of back locks lock backs right yeah all right guys that's all i have to say about this knife all right if you like this video give me a like subscribe follow me on instagram tim z usa and until next time tim z out